Napapakinggan, go ahead to Spotify and, well, I think that's Apple Podcasts din siya. And listen to episode number 46. It's the interview with Charlene Ormo. And what I got from there is that when you're in the lowest of your lows, kung napunta ka na sa point na walang wala ka na, wala ka na, pero ang dami-dami mo ng utang at wala ka na may bayad sa rent mo, okay? I cry it all out. You cry it all out for one night, just bookless your all of your emotions, and then, <laughs> and then, the next day, take a step, mga take a step, step again. It is all that you can, and do the next right thing. Okay, so shabre sa expansion yan kung paano niya exactly ginawa yung 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 pagtake ng step na yan anong ginawa ni Cha? when she got to the lowest of her lows make sure you listen to episode number 46 of the million dollar filipino freelancer podcast by nina Lightel and corina obrero okay for my reading time today i read the book once again awaken the giant within by tony robbins and what i got from there is that the back happen we learned that pain and pleasure pain and pleasure are the two driving forces that you know drive us to make decisions decisions right Okay, but, 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 <laughs> here's the thing. Okay, ito yung learn natin today. And that is, if you want a lasting change, if you want a lasting change in your life, then, okay, you need to link, you need to associate your past behavior with something painful, with pain. You associate it with pain, your past behavior, and then your new behavior, you associate it with associated with pleasure like just to give you an example I've been vegan for so many years now and I realized that one of the core reasons why I got into it I mean yeah I mean I stuck around okay is that it's so ingrained within me that me eating okay is linked is linked with diseases lifestyle, lifestyle diseases such as hypertension high blood pressure heart disease and cancer and diabetes lifestyle diseases of all kinds and because of that i mean it's never pleasurable to me anymore meat eating so i also have associated different kinds of uh, you know plant-based foods with taste because i have explore different kinds of menus and dishes and meals and recipes and i found pleasure in them too okay so yeah if you want a lasting change condition it in your mind repeatedly associating your past behavior with pain and associating your new behavior with pleasure and that's the secret now okay for the one action step for the day that is to review <laughs> the offer given to me by the CEO that I talked with, I had an interview with, I mean, he interviewed me, kahapon kagabi, I told about this sa previous video ko, and he created an offer for me. It's an email copywriting with a few copyright, additional copywriting roles sa company niya, and I'm so excited I'm gonna read the whole offer today and then decide. <laughs> diba? Bon guys, so we're actually ladies and gentlemen, Mabuhay po yung lahat. And I do hope that once again, by the way, the song that I sang earlier, that is titled The Next Right Thing. That is titled The Next Right Thing, sung by Kristen Bell of Frozen 2. That's for Frozen 2. It was when um, Anna, Anna 
had her lowest of lows because she thought Elsa was already dead, okay? And then she sung that song and that kasama niya si Olaf. <laughs> and then, sabi niya, para saan pa siya baba mo? Eh, wala na nga si Elsa, di ba? So, how to rise from the floor when it's not you I'm rising for. So, but then, just do the next right thing. So, just take a step. Step again. It is all that you can, that I can to do the next right thing. Okay, I hope that if you are, in case you are in your lowest of lows right now, just remember this, that those people who you look up to, they've also been there. She chat has been there and look at where she is now. What she did is she just did the next right thing. And I hope you do the next right thing for your own life today.